A fast ferry operation in Nanaimo could be as big to Nanaimo as coal was, if not bigger. City Councillor Bill McKay says a foot passenger ferry could fill in the gap between BC ferries and flight transportation by providing a middle ground of affordability and convenience to passengers. This would be for us one of the last, uh, the last links uh, to Vancouver and beyond that's, that's, that's missing. And every successful city that you look at is always related and surrounded by transportation and mobility. One possibility for the foot passenger ferry is here at the Nanaimo Port Authority's cruise ship terminal. If given the green light, the fast ferry could be made operational within six months. The assembly wharf is, was built to move people uh, because of the cruise uh, business and our welcome centre here could be used uh, initially as a uh, processing the passengers and our infrastructure, which is really the dock area, is, is perfect to handle uh, any type of ship and the, the way that the infrastructure is set up, we can take a fast ferry every day of the week. A collaboration from various organizations are needed to make this opportunity happen for Nanaimo. The first step towards creating a foot passenger ferry is securing the startup financing. Um, they've got sites located both here and in, in Vancouver. Uh, the boats are waiting in Asia to come over. Um, so a lot of the, the background work has been done uh, and it's just the financing piece and then all the activities that go to, to get them ready for the first day of operations. If a foot ferry is put in place, this will be the third attempt at creating a sustainable and profitable service. The first operation began in 1992 and lasted for only a year before shutting down. Harbour Links was the second failed attempt in 2003. Harbour Links was a, was a company that was, uh, that made some missteps early on in the process and it, it was very difficult to recover from those. But Sasha Angus says the current BC company trying to revitalize the foot ferry has learned from others' mistakes. And they've really learned from the past. <laughs> and so um, some other proponents, they had one boat. Uh, the hull structure was such that um, it, it was a bit of an older boat. Uh, the engines, if one broke down, they'd be in a, a bit of a bind. They've come up with solutions to all those pieces. Building up a business where you've got unidirect, or pardon me, bi-directional travel, where just as many people are leaving from Nanaimo to go to Vancouver as there are coming the other way, uh, that's, going to be, that's going to create the success for an operation like this. The discussion about bringing back a foot passenger ferry has been talked about over the last four years, but it seems the time to turn plans into action is soon. I think the, mar the market is far better suited for it now uh, than it was back then. Uh, it's more mature and we're seeing a lot more people move here that move here for the lifestyle, but they still want the mobility that, that, they, that something like this would provide them. In Nanaimo, I'm Ryan LaPlante.